a very warm welcome to all of you to another lecture in this series of lectures on modeling and simulation of communication systems using MATLAB. So, with this lecture, we begin our second chapter or second module, whatever you want to call it, on arrays, matrices, and signals. So, basically, you should add arrays, matrices, and signals in MATLAB. So, uh, arrays uh, we have seen are very important uh, in C, C++ and MATLAB by its name is matrix laboratory. So, that we will cover and so in this chapter what we will do is we will look at arrays and by extension how matrices are treated as arrays. We will also look at general and dimensional arrays. We will look at uh, matrix operations. We will revisit uh, the ideas of complex numbers. We will talk about iteration and uh, finally, we will look at the use of arrays or the use of everything that uh, we have done for signal analysis and uh, we will revisit some ideas from your signals and systems course and implement those in MATLAB. And we will obviously look at uh, how do we iterate through arrays, how do we iterate through signals, etcetera. So, let us start. So, the basic storage format, so MATLAB treats everything as a matrix because it is already called matrix laboratory. So, MATLAB treats everything as a matrix. Actually, if you look at it, so this is this. So, I say and size. So, MATLAB uh, has this option of showing you the size of everything. So, since MATLAB treats everything as a matrix, it uh, also shows the size of uh, all the variables as a matrix. So, this Q for example, from our previous example was uh, written as a matrix or this is defined as a 1 cross 1 matrix. Similarly, I define this array 1 comma 2, this is defined as uh, uh, 1 cross 2 matrix. So, the idea is that MATLAB treats everything as a matrix and uh, matrix operations are naturally built into MATLAB. So, this becomes important later when we want to uh, work with these arrays. So, arrays and matrices. A matrix is a two dimensional array whose entries are stored as rows and columns and uh, in MATLAB all the rows and all the columns should have in a within a matrix not uh, different matrices. So, all the rows and columns must have the same number of entries and uh, AIJ is uh, called the ijth entry of a matrix. So, if I have a matrix A, then A i j as in our basic mathematics courses corresponds to the entry contained in the ith row and Jth column. And uh, again, these are matrices. So, unlike C or C or Python, where the indexing of an array starts at 0, the first entry of MATLAB is 1, 1, and this goes up to n. So, the indexing starts at 1. So, index 0. So, the first entry of a matrix is 1, 1 or the first entry of a column vector or row vector is 1, fine. So, let us uh, now enter a few matrices or generate a few structured matrices to get to know how MATLAB works. So, let me close this. So, let us say I want to want to define a matrix A or I want to first, I will start with row vectors and column vectors and then I will move on to matrices. So, 
I want to define a matrix X or a vector X. X is a row vector and say there is 3 entries. So, X equals 1, 2, 3, it is a row vector. Similarly, I want to define Y as a column vector, semicolon. So, Y is a column vector whose entries are 4, 5, 6. You can see that the size of X is 1 times 3 and the size of Y is 3 times 1 which naturally signifies uh, row vectors and column vectors. Similarly, now I want to define a matrix. So, I can define a matrix in two ways. I can uh, define it. So, I define a matrix first A as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, I define a matrix A like this. So, rows the entries two rows are separated by commas and two columns are separated by semicolons maybe i should write this on the so i'll erase this and i'll write this over here two rows within a matrix are separated by commas and two sorry two columns are separated by commas my bad two columns are separated by commas and two rows are separated by semicolons columns are are separated by commas and rows are separated by semicolons. So, we have uh, defined a matrix A like this. Let us try to define another matrix, but uh, now in the column first or uh, now as a, so we have defined this matrix as a set of row vectors. Now, let us try to define this matrix as a set of column vectors. So, that will be slightly trickier. So, I will have to use this notation. semicolon semicolon so these columns are defined this so i do this everywhere it becomes a long vector with that's a concatenation of three column vectors but i don't want that i want a horizontal concatenation of these or want these to be the columns of this matrix. So, I want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to be the 3 columns of one matrix, not a long column vector. So, I do this and I write, I get essentially the transpose of the matrix that I had defined previously. Obviously, if in my previous definition, I use comma, I get a long row vector. You might be wondering that uh, how do these commands come up. So, you press the up arrow key on your keyboard anywhere in MATLAB in the command window and uh, it displays all the previously entered commands over there. So, this is uh, one trick that uh, might come in helpful. So, the next thing that uh, we want to do is indexing. So, let us say that now as I said that uh, the ijth entry of this matrix is uh, referenced by a i j. So, we are indexing starting in 1. So, let us demonstrate. So, say I want to access A 1 comma 2. So, 1 comma 2 means first row, second column. First row, second column is 4. So, I should get 4. Similarly, I want to access A 2 1. I get 2 which is uh, natural. But suppose I say I just give 1 index and say I give index A 2. So, in that case, MATLAB reads column by column. So, MATLAB would first read the first column, then the second column, then the third column. So, I say I want to access A6. So, A6 is 6. So, A6 is 6. So, when you give just one index, then MATLAB uh, reads it uh, in a column wise fashion. Obviously, there is the idea of reshaping that uh, we will come at later 
and yes we can index uh, while we are at this we can index entire rows. So, I can index the entire first row. So, this gives me the first row or I can index the first column. I want to use the first two columns. So, I get the first two columns. I want to get the second and third rows of the first two columns. I get the second and the third rows of the first two columns like that. So, this is how indexing in MATLAB works. So, now we can also iterate through columns. So, I have given an example over here. I will just illustrate that and end this. So, let us say I want to actually let us do something better. Let us write a function that uh, takes in a matrix and returns another matrix. So, this also gives me. So, one more thing is size of A. Size of A basically returns a 2 cross 1 a row vector that contains the dimensions of A. So, say function C equals play with A. So, I am defining a function that I am calling play with A. So, what I will do is S z equals size of A for i equals 1 to size the. So, it is a 2 cross 1 vector. The first entry of S z is the number of rows and the second entry of S z is the number of columns and for j equals 1 to end and this. So, c i j equals a i j plus i minus j semicolon right. So, I save this and I call this play with this function is play with. So, c equals so this returns a matrix. So, the, the diagonal elements remain unchanged and all the other elements are changed and say if I write it to be i plus j. So, basically sorry you cannot run a function that is important. So, add the corresponding entries of rows and columns to them. So, another thing that uh, we could do is that uh, we could use the inbuilt all 0 matrix. So, if I say 0 is 3 then it uh, gives me a 3 cross 3 all 0 matrix. So, what I do is C equals play with and what this will give me each entry corresponds to the sum of rows and columns uh, the row index and the column index at that point. So, these are some basic matrix operations in MATLAB or uh, some basic uh, playing around with arrays in MATLAB. Next time we will look at uh, more specific matrix operations that MATLAB supports. So, thank you. Mm -hmm.